Hi guys, how are you all? I hope you all had a really nice long weekend and enjoyed the gorgeous weather. You're all doing absolutely amazing work and I'm loving getting your pictures sent in all the time. And well done to all of those who signed up for the literacy footprints and are doing their readers uh, online at home. You're all doing a super job and especially to the moms and dads, you are all doing absolutely amazing. I know homeschooling is not easy at all, but fair play, you are all playing an absolute blinder. So today guys, I'm going to read you another new story and I'll upload it to the YouTube and I'll set a little task at the end and hopefully you guys can send me in lovely pictures of your drawings and work that you've done on it. So I hope you guys enjoy. So the story is called Let's Get a Pup and I know that a few of the boys and girls in our class have got new puppies. I know Bonnie and Braxton have anyway and if I'm missing anyone you can give me an email and let me know. Let's get a pup, said Kate. What? A brand new one? Said a now wide awake mum. With the wrapping still on? Added her breathless dad. Pups don't come wrapped, replied Kate. I know they don't, said dad. It's just a joke. Mum looked in the paper. It must be small, said Kate. And cute, said dad. And got all excited, said Kate. And run round in circles, said dad. Hmm, said Mum. Look, the rescue centre, the centre for dogs without a home, the centre for dogs all alone. With their breakfast uneaten, they dressed and left immediately. At the rescue centre, they found plenty of dogs without a home and lots of dogs all alone. They found big dogs, small dogs, sniffers and sleepers, wire hairs, short hairs, scratchers and leapers. They found fighters and biters, growlers and snarlers, Short dogs, dogs long, long and thin, and dogs with their cheeks sucked in. They also found happy dogs, sad dogs, take-me dogs, and dogs who couldn't care less. They saw smelly dogs, fat dogs, lean and mean dogs, chew it up and spit it out at you dogs, and dogs like walking nightmares. Then they saw Dave. Dave was so excited he came out sideways, he barked twice, water flew off his tongue and he turned a complete circle in the air. He was small, he was cute, he was brand new. Dave climbed right over the top of Kate, who briefly wore him like a hat. He's all that we want, said Kate, and that we came for, said Mum. We'll take him, said Dad. Then they saw Rosie and she saw them. And she was old and grey and broad as the table. It was difficult for her to get her feet. But she stood, it seemed almost politely. Her eyes watered, her ears went back and she radiated good intention. My wish for you, said Dad, is that you could lie on someone's living room floor. Or on their couch, said Mum, or on someone's bed, said Kate. Mum's voice shook. We should all take them, or we would take them all if we could. But what can we do? And with many a backward glance, they slowly walked away. At home, Dave was everything that a pup could be and more. On his first night, he cried in his carton. The next morning, Kate's mum and dad received a good licking. Dave was crying last night, so he slept with me, said Kate. But I didn't sleep, neither did I, said dad. I was wishing, neither did I, said mum, I was wishing. With their breakfast once again uneaten, they dressed and left immediately. At the rescue centre, Rosie was waiting for them. Let's get you home, said dad. Rosie was instantly at home. Her broad, heavy tail swept everything off the low table. I've seen a dog smelling a man, but never a man smelling a dog, said Kate's mum. She needs a bath, said Dad. Now Dad's wish has come true. Rosie is asleep on the living room floor with Dave to keep her company. Mum's wish has also come true. Now Rosie and Dave are asleep on the couch. And what of Kate's wish? Will it come true as well? Yes, Dave and Rosie will get to sleep on someone's bed. 
Kate puts her head on Rosie's stomach. She hears angry gurgles, squeaks and plops, lonely corkscrew sounds, and the pump, pump, pump of Rosie's heart, like a big hollow engine room. Kate's feet are no longer lonely under the blankets. It seems like Dave and Rosie have always been there. Their weight is comfortable and reliable and will stop Kate's bed floating away in the night. I hope you guys all enjoyed the story. I know those of you who have recently got puppies or who have dogs already will remember those sleepless nights with the puppy crying and wanting to get into the bed with you. So if that is the case, you can email me all your memories of when you got your dog. And also for anyone who hasn't, and also the children who have, you guys can draw a picture of your favorite part of the story or maybe of when you got your dog and what they were doing when they moved in and they were away for their mummy for the first couple of nights. I can't wait to see them all and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.